Hello everyone. Today we're going to make this super delicious and refreshing chendol lot chong or pandan jelly dessert. All right. Here I have four to five pandan leaf. I cut into small pieces. Then add in one cup of water. I'm using immersion blender. You can blend it into the blender as well. Once you are done, we will strain and extract out as much juice as you can. All right. So I'm using a spoon to extract out all the juice that we need to make this dessert. In case you can't find the pandan leaf, you also can use the pandan accent or pandan extract or pandan juice in the can. Okay, I'm using this mung bean starch and rice flour to make this dessert. Okay, in a pot, I will add about a quarter cup of rice flour, which is the red bag. Half a cup of mung bean starch. You can find this mung bean starch at any local Asian store, or if you can't find that, you can also order online. All right. I will add about three and a half cup pandan water into the pot, or about eight hundred twenty-eight milliliter. Which is I use one cup to blend the pandan leaf and plus the other two and a half cup water. The green color from the pandan leaf is not enough to my liking, so I will add about five or ten drop of green color in there as well to make it brighter color. You can use any color of your choice. We'll mix that together and then bring that to the stove. At first, I will turn on heat to medium high or high heat. Once they start to thicken, then I will lower the heat to medium low in case it doesn't get burned in the bottom of the pot. Let me tell you, this dessert get burned really quickly or easily. So I just want to make sure you stay by the side of the stove, constantly stir to make sure we don't get any burning dessert. All right. Okay. So I'm changing to a wooden spatula. You, as you can see, that the rice flour and mung bean starch mixture is started to get thickened. You can see like the greener spot in there. That means it's getting thicker, and so I'm lowering the heat to medium low. For what I experience, you have to stir in one direction only. If you go to the clockwise, then go that direction all the way through. Or if you go to the counterclockwise, then make sure to use the same direction throughout the process. As this will make the lot chong or the chendol very very smooth. All right. Once you get to this thick consistency, then it will only take a couple minutes to go, and you can see that the color change. It gets shinier and smoother. All right. When you scoop out with the spatula and you saw a dripping, like have some tail or end point like that. Now it looks good, and mine it take about seven to eight minutes to cook this. So I turn off the heat. Then we'll go and press the chendo. So I'm using the potato riser to press this beautiful warm light chendo. Okay. I 
I will press the chandelier into the ice cold water as it will freeze or firm the chandelier to make it more beautiful. We'll continue until you are done with all your batter in the pot, okay? If you enjoyed my video so far and find any value information in this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate all your support and love. I'm not sure if you ever heard this chando or la chong dessert before but this is very popular dessert recipe that came from southeast asia and it originated from indonesia okay if you go to thailand laos anywhere in southeast asia you will get to eat this all right so here is the result after we press it look at how beautiful that is it's soft little firm and it tastes like bomb after you add some coconut milk and sugar in there can't wait to try it okay so now it's time to assemble everything together you can use as much as you want this is how i made my coconut milk add 1000 ml coconut milk into a pot Half a teaspoon salt, one cup sugar, one tablespoon rice flour to make the coconut milk really white. Cook that until it's just started to getting boiled, then turn the heat off, and there you have it. Okay, so now I will add in the coconut milk. If you don't like to mix sugar into your coconut milk, you can make the sugar syrup separately and then you can add the syrup and then the coconut milk in there, all right? So now we just mix everything together. Mm, look at that, how beautiful that is, right? Oh my gosh. Looks so good already. The smell of the beautiful scent from the pandan leaf. Let's taste it. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, it's so refreshing, so delicious. I can't describe how good it is. This chendo dessert is best to eat when it's fresh made. However, if you have some leftover, you can add water and store in the fridge. It will last you for a couple days. I hope you like this recipe. Until next time.